And Steve wrote a really funny poem about it, and I wrote this poem about it. <laughs> carburetor hearts stumble their way home three weeks too late, chattering about the monsters they've loved in beds they don't remember. Their kneecaps are broken in the spiderweb patterns they should have been born in, spilling mulberry saliva on the hardwood floor, shoulders spiraling in the hallway so hard the wallpaper is clinging to the plaster as if to say, Dear God, please don't let them see me here. Each room in this lighthouse spine of terror echoes the funeral chants of our mothers. They buried us a long time ago, you know, as if the pavement could hold us down. Daylight hasn't hit yet, but I'm awake anyway. There's a pair of hip bones tucked behind the toilet, t-shirt girls reflected in every doorknob, this colony of loneliness cascading up and down each stairwell in the fever of finding something to distract them from actually being themselves. The hallways have been shrinking since the closets stopped hiding what we asked them to. None of the windows will open. The tiny girls with their mouths of knives and fists slouched in the corners of the kitchens. The radiator boys who nicknamed each other wisdom in case it someday rubbed off. This garage of bicycles with their broken pedals that don't belong to anyone anymore. Someday these children will just become stories passed through mouths, their throats eating their curiosity, tender bones shifting awkwardly around door frames, soup-eyed gas station smiles, they've been bleeding to the walls longer than I've lived in this city. They speak Boston as if every rooftop belonged to them. With arms like empty rooms, they discuss the names and locations of each lake and cove of New England as if pinpointing this knowledge placed every person in their hierarchy of who deserves to be this empty. I end up in the bathtub next to the smallest carburetor who just realized the boy she has been sleeping next to for the past two years would have the exact same day whether or not he woke up next to her. And I watched her crack until all of the pools inside of her dry up and the fish pour out onto the bathroom floor gasping for us to put her back together. When the bicycles wake up, they don't remember how we got here. Couch-shaped limbs with stolen fingers, hands curved to salute, laps exploding like light, crawling into darkness. There is no leaving now. Only the nausea of coming and going, a breeding ground of answers that don't stand for anything. Outside, daylight hasn't hit yet, and the barefoot junkie questions that echo sound like, where are your children? Every carburetor knows there are no children here. Just a parking lot full of sliced throats and broken glass. 